honestly, who gets a sore throat and a cold in the middle of summer? And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Hey everybody out there. Um, I kind of look and sound like ass right now because somehow I ended up with a sore throat and a runny nose in the middle of summer. I don't even have students to blame it on this time, so I don't know what the hell is going on, but I am not impressed. I'm going to jump into the question so I don't go over. Uh, Andy, what do we think of Half Blood Prince? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, like I said last week, I got to see it on Monday night. Then I saw it on Tuesday midnight with my sister-in-law, and now I saw it again just this last Saturday with my husband. Uh, so I have now seen it three times, um, and I, I really, really like it. I think that the plot points in Half Blood Prince were kind of more big and broad, which made it a lot easier for them to make into a movie rather than Order of the Phoenix, where there were so many little things happening. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think I'll probably see it at least one more time before it goes out of the theaters. I would love to see it in IMAX, though, but I don't know if we're doing that here yet. Addie, where's someone you, somewhere we've always wanted to go? I know this was a roomy challenge, but really these are the only two questions that we have anyway. Uh, I have always wanted to go to Ireland, and I haven't been there yet. I've been to England now, but I haven't been to Ireland yet. So uh, I'm really looking forward to going there at some point. I'm Irish, and apparently I have long, distant relatives that still live there. I don't know if I'd be able to find them, but um, yeah, always wanted to go to Ireland. Uh, and really, that's all the questions we have. Now today is an even day, so I'm not supposed to ask a question, but I'm going to every anyway. Uh, I'll maybe make up for it by not later on or something, but I'm going to ask a question anyway. Um, I have tried to find a job this summer, uh, but it has not worked out for me. No one is really hiring right now. It's a really crappy time to be trying to find a short-term job. Everyone's just stopped hiring people because <laughs> everyone's worried about uh, being able to sustain their employees over this crappy economic times. So it looks like I'm going to have the rest of the summer off. Uh, I need ideas of things to do because I'm going to get stir crazy. In fact, I already am there and uh, I need things to do to keep myself occupied. They can't cost too much money because, well, I have no money coming in. I just need things to keep me busy during the day. And I can't read and watch TV and play on the internet all day. Trust me, I've tried. It gets really boring. It's fun for about a day or two. But that's about it. So leave me your ideas. Either in the comments or dudes, let me know what you think I could do. Because I'm going nuts over here. I can't spend the rest of my summer like Zeus. I almost forgot to give you your music recommendation for this week. And that is... Uh, Sam Roberts. Uh, he's a Canadian musician. If you haven't heard of him, you really need to check him out because he's awesome. Um, one of my favorite songs of his is called Bridge to Nowhere. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. Next week, by the time you see me, I will have celebrated my one year anniversary of being married. Yay! So anybody who's new should go back and watch my uh, video that everyone made me for before I got married because it is awesome and I was gonna, I'm going to watch again this weekend just to celebrate. Uh, room 3428 style so I'm looking forward to having my first anniversary with my husband and well that's pretty much it for me there's not a lot going on so I'm kind of boring and well my voice is probably going to give out and quite honestly it kind of hurts to talk so I'm going to go take care of that but I love you all I miss you all I don't wish you were here because I don't want to give you my germs but after I got healthy then I would definitely wish you were here so you can keep me amused talk to you guys soon bye